Nice to see you again. Where you left us off last in the Socho Rise of the Lions You've Only Saved, we played a few more games. We've got four games left for this episode. It was a bit rubbish, to be honest. We basically, we drew with Troys. We lost to FC Annecy. We did beat Amons, Amiens, but we, we only beat them by the, the, the slightest margin. We just won 4-3. We were very lucky. And then we lost 4-1 to Grenoble, who now overtook us in the league. So we're now going to be eight. We've got four games left. We've got Poir, and then we've got Rodez AF, and then Angers, and then Saeim, however you pronounce it, C-A-E-M. But yeah, so hopefully we can, we've got, so we've got potentially 12 points we can win out of that. 12 points will get us up to 55 points, which technically could get us into the playoffs, but we know it ain't going to happen, but mathematically we can still get the playoffs but it would mean all the other teams above us would have to lose every single game which ain't going to happen either so we just got to try and hope that we can get seventh place we're only one point behind Grenoble despite the fact that they beat us so if we win that game we're only four points behind Paris FC in sixth place so you know we can still we're still having a good season we're, we're finishing eighth we weren't expected to do that we're supposed to just just to basically stay away from relegation which we've done so yeah so it's not too bad but anyway i'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode right so we're playing Poit now this is the lineup for the game we've got calvez and bastian as the fullbacks mendes de silva and grilla in the center of defense hop of in goal drama and viltard in center midfield Weisbeck, Kassad on the wings, and then Fatar and Kofi back up front, so that's good. We're a little bit stronger for this game, so we'll we'll see. But yeah, one point behind Grenoble. Hopefully we can get... There we go, that's a good start. Silver, how are you? Offside. Oh, potentially offside. Let's see what VAR says. Yeah, offside. Kofi are already playing well, 7.2. They're in the white kits, and they are in the yellow kits, not to confuse you. Still on the hunt for a relatively... Not too expensive, so show yellow home shirt in my size. If anybody can recommend me some people who sell football shirts, especially French lower league football shirts, please leave it in the comment section. I would appreciate the help. In the meantime, I'm wearing my Armenia Byfield shirt. Oh, here we go. Come on, I think it's only fair that you disallow that ball. You disallowed ours. Yes, good referee. Me and my partner watched the Step Brothers yesterday. I forgot how funny that bloody film was. Yeah, it's such a funny film. So many parts where I've literally just laughing my head off i miss comedy films like that i can't remember the last the most recent comedy film that would come out that i've laughed out loud just unfortunately they don't make comedies like that anymore and it's nothing to do with council culture or anything like that i think it's just because i don't believe in stuff like that but like i said everybody says oh it's council culture and they can't do comedy anymore you can do comedy it's just you can't offend people you can't be racist you can't be racist there's still ways you can do humor Oh, we should have scored that. But I think just comedy as a genre is just dead. It just it, it would it, it needs to take somebody just to pay a high note. I think if like a really good stand up comedian started doing comedy films one after the other, like when Kevin Hart exploded and he become really like really good comedy film star. Just needs somebody like that really. All right, Kofi across to Galvez. Oh, we're playing rubbish in this game. I feel like the players just can't be bothered now. I feel like they're just going, we're just going, we're happy with mid-table. We shouldn't be losing to teams like, no offence, but I, I think we are better than them. Galvez, oh, getting closer, we're getting closer. 1.56 XG tells you everything you need to know. Theirs is 0.37, and they're winning 1-0, and they're offside. Right, Kofi's not playing well, so we'll put Vaz on. Weisbeck gives it to Galvez. Oh, oh Fatal's not playing. Oh, it was, it was not Kofi, it was Fatal that wasn't playing very well. Beck's not playing well, though. Take him off, unfortunately. Take you off as well. Yes, we can. Weisbeck, you need to be berated because you're playing very, very poorly. As soon as I get a chance, I need to fire up the players. There we go. See what we can do from that. You watch Poir will score now. It's like shouting at the players just has the reverse effect of what you want. It just makes them just drop and then they're just down their tools. The days of being able to shout at players and then it motivates them are over by the looks of it. Right, can we get a late equaliser here? Forward, not backwards. Come on, Bill Tars, you're better than that. Rilot, Galvez now. Oh, so close. Look at that, 2.02 XG. Disgraceful. We should have been winning 2-1 here. They absolutely FM'd us there. I probably won't bother holiday because it's literally two days before the next game. Nothing really to play for now at the moment. We've just got to see the season out. Not going to get, probably get, you know, we'll get, we're going from 7th to, well, it looks a bit, we'll probably be 10th by the end of this. We'll probably lose to Rodez now. Praising players is hilarious. Vital, you played rubbish, so I don't know why I'm praising you. Anyway, you played rubbish last game. All right. There we go. It's good that the morale is high. The team dressing room atmosphere is excellent, so that's good. I just don't think we're good enough at the moment. 
Right, so is there any major changes? Teller's left back, so there's that. Langa is on the left. Nabo's up front with Vaz. I suppose maybe he's just trying out some new players, maybe. The assistant manager, Grillot. I don't want to happen there. I need to see that again from behind the goal. Once this comes up, oh, hold on. We'll see if it's allowed first. It probably won't even be allowed. Okay, well, that was pointless. Right, a director. There you go. Right, well, as low as nine. Now, can we try and get eighth, maybe? Can we not lose the road? Good interception there by Vaz. Terrible pass by Vaz, though. Or terrible vision by Langes to not pick up the pass. Either way, good save by Popov. Comfortable save, I'd say. Right, not Tete. Teller. You've got Teller and you've got Tete in this team now, so it's going to be a bit confusing. Right, let's try and demand a bit more after eight minutes gone. That always works well. Vaz, get in. Carl Zenti, nice to see him scoring today. Good little morale boost for him. Corner to us, to Costa. Headed, hit the... Post, I think. 1-0. So that's good. Five points behind sixth place Paris FC with two games to go. We're now four points, sorry. Right. They've got a goal kick. We get... No, we don't. Oh, we have got the possession. Grill up. Nice bit of passing going on here. Oh, oh, that was a good ball. That was a fair play. Oh, nothing comes out of that. That's good. So uh, yeah, we're still 1-0 up. We're now up to eighth in the league. Good little free kick there. Loops it in. Langes. Get in. Langes. Is he good at free kicks? Have we got a central defender that's good at set pieces? Bloody hell, he's at the post. I think that's the second time he's had a free kick at the post in this game. When it lets me, I will have a look. Right, okay. Grill up. Free kicks. Where is it? Penalty taking is not very good. Free kick taking six. So why is he taking free kicks? Oh, I don't know. Baffles me. And he's hit the post twice, though. So fair play to him. He's scored both times. Bit of a high-powered high shot there. Maybe if he controlled it a bit, he might have. Might have had a better chance of going in. Right, De Silva's knackers, so we'll put on... Accra hasn't played for a while, actually. Nabo's not playing particularly well, so we'll take him off. We'll put on... Right, Carzenti with the free kick. Good ball. Go on, Accra. Get in. There you go. A rare good performance by us lately. We're eighth now. I think we'll be eighth with two games to go. I think we'll probably end up staying eighth. We've just got to hope we win the next two games, really. Test Mossy. I think we're doing a bit of time wasting here by the looks of it. I think we need to give some debuts. Right, who can we give? We'll give Victor Joseph a debut. Teller, you have played really well, but we're going to take you off. And then we'll put on... We'll take Garzenti off. We'll put on Maj, Maji. That's it, there you go. Costa. Yes, get in. Fourth goal of the season for him. He's had a really good season this season, I think. He's played quite a few games. Oh, I said that. He's only played 30, 14 games for us now. I felt like he's played more than that. Just need to put Victor Joseph in a more familiar position. Put him in to support. And then Qatar put you as a false nine. Right, let's see this game out. Move on to the next game. Qatar with a bit of a poor shot by him. Yeah, we could have done with them losing. Yeah, two games left. Right, I'll see you in a second with the next game. Right, so we've got the penultimate game of the season. And we've got some slight changes again. We've got a Triple G in defence here. We've got Grillopes and Galvez. Bossy is left back. Popov is always in goal. Tete, who's not 100% match fit because he picked up a slight injury. He starts with Biltar on the right, Pizarro from there, Nabo up front with that. Let's see how we get. Angers currently 10th. First highlight goes to us after two minutes. We're going to score already. Oh, nearly. Got a goalkeeper called Zinger. Oh, if I could buy players, I would just buy players but if they have really funny, cool names. Like Zinger. Get in, 1 0. Grill off. Fifth goal of the season. Starting to become a first team regular with us, I think. He's pretty good in the attacking side of things as well. Heading 12. Played six games for us. I think the five goals are for the. Oh no, why does it say it's the fifth goal of the season? It says zero here. Oh, I don't know. Right. Oh, maybe he was on loan. Was he on loan somewhere? Let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Four four goals for the second team before we called him up. There you go. That would explain it. I was getting confused then. Right, we're eighth. We need to keep an eye on Grenoble and see if they're winning. Are they playing today? Grenoble, where are you? Oh, I pause this so I can keep an eye on Grenoble. There you go. They're losing to Rodez, who we beat 4 0. See, that annoys me even more now that we lose to Grenoble, but we beat the team that was beating them. All right, we've just got to keep an eye on that now. Free kick to us. Bill Tom Garris. Good pass. With his seventh goal of the season. How many games he played for us? So he's played seven games. Come on, 15 times for us. And scored like five goals. So it's not too bad. Eight, six, seven goals overall in eight games. Proper games. And then 15. He's, he's been more of a sub, sub player at the moment. Substitution player at the moment. Super sub. Because of the fact that Trophy and Qatar are usually the main strike force for us. Strike partnership, sorry. Hey, you're knackers. You can come on. Grenoble, they're losing 2 0. Good. That's what we like to see. We're winning 2 0. They're losing 2 0. So we might still get seventh place. I think that was outside the box. I don't think that's going to be a penalty. I think that would be very unfortunate for the opposition. Yeah, I was going to say. That would have been really. I mean, I'm not complaining, but that would have been very unfair to get given that penalty. They're losing 3 0 now. Good. Right. That helps us get the chance of potentially being finishing seventh in the league. So we're one point behind. 
Grenoble now with one game to play. Such a shame that we didn't have another we could have got sixth place, but seventh place potentially we're probably gonna we're definitely gonna hit, we're only gonna get eighth or seventh bottom of it. We've got one game left. We can't get any lower than eight. So that's good. That's a pretty good season overall. So uh, yeah, not complaining too much. I think I'm gonna give Grillot a new contract. Right, and I'm gonna holiday to the to the next game, last game of the season. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, last game of the season versus Kayan. I'm gonna call him Kayan because I think that's how you say it, but I could be wrong. Yeah, so we've got basically Popov in goal, De Costa on the right, Diagne and Bossi in centre defence, Bastian on the left, Drame and De Silva in the middle, Weisbeck and Carsensi on the wings, Navo and Baz up front. As always, we will keep an eye on the Grenoble game. Where are even playing today. Yeah, they are. They're playing Auxerre. Hopefully, Auxerre can do us a favour. We still need to win. I worry there's going to be a defensive cock up here. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good. Defended by Bastion to get it back. They're now in possession, though. Oh, good. Tackling by Navo to get that ball back. Come on, I feel like this is going to be our highlight here. Good little passing going on here. DeCosta, Weisbeck. Looked it up. Yeah, still 0 0. If the games stay like this, oh, Auxerre winning. That's good. So we'll check the league table in a minute. Carzenti's not playing very well. He needs to come on. Gase up there. Good save. Thank God for that. Right. Come on, Popov. Good defending there. Let's get it back. There you go. Come on. Don't lose the ball. Oh, that was a terrible pass. They're going to score. They're just waiting to score, aren't they, at this point? Ruin our chances of getting seventh place. Oh, it's 1 1 in the Grenoble Auxerre match. So that's not good. 1 Auxerre. Do us a favour. Come on. Let's get a goal and then we can concentrate on the other game then. Good save. Right, if he can come on. Bossy's playing rubbish. We'll put Grillot in there. Oh no, that was four pass in there. They've got like a five on three situation going on there. Luckily, he didn't lead to goal. I feel like Kayan's going to win this game now. I feel it's just inevitable. They've been all over us. Yep, yeah, there we go. One nil. I guess we're just going to be eighth then, which isn't too bad. We can't we can't really complain too much about that one. Oh, and typical Orcs who are winning. It's, like all, it's almost as if as soon as Kayan scored, Orcs who scored. All right, let's see. Try and push these players a bit more forward. Can we take you off? No, we can't take anybody else off. They're very attacking. What else can we do? Ready crosses. Play for set pieces. They're a bit more wide. Overlap. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just trying anything and hoping for the best. Nah, it didn't work. Oh, well. Eighth it is then, everyone. But not too bad. Fair play, lads. Fair play. Right then, I'll be back in a second with the season review. Right, so I'm just going to do a little roundup of the season. First things first is I completely forgot that I managed to convince the board ages ago to buy the stadium. So we now own the stadium. I've also forgot from the last episodes that I did last week that we managed to get the board to improve the training facilities. So that took a bit of time, but we now have superb training facilities. We've got top corporate facilities, excellent youth facilities, exceptional academy coaching because recently managed to get that done. And then literally in between the last game of the season and coming up to this now, I managed to successfully get the board to improve the youth recruitment. So there's that. Let's have a look how we did in the end. So that. Right, so we finished eighth. We were, was it 11, no, sorry, 10, 13 points behind the playoffs in the end. So we managed to, Strasbourg and Bordeaux managed to get promoted automatically. And then Leon, I think Leon won the promotion. So the quarterfinals beat Troy's. And then in the semi final, Leon beat 1 0. So I assume they got up. Or do they? No, Leon are playing Mets. So Leon could still be in this league if they don't beat Mets. It'd be very frustrating. And who, let's have a look at League Fun. Let's see who we've got, who we're playing. When's this game? 29th of March. So coming up in a few days on the game. So Mets, so Guntav Gunt and Clement are the teams that got relegated. So they're a lot easier, I'd say. I wouldn't say they're not e easy games, but. I think they're easier competition than Bordeaux, Strasbourg and Lyon, for God's sake. So I think we've got a stronger chance to get in the playoffs next season. Metz is a good team, but I think we're, we've still got a chance. So Lyon, if they don't get promoted this season, they'll be champions next season, guaranteed. And then it will be probably us and maybe Clement in the playoffs, I think, or second place, hopefully. We do need to get better, though. Let's just go back to this. He was obviously our top goal scorer and best average rating as well. And then Gazard had the most assists. Best pass clip completion was our goalkeeper Popov. And most manager, most player of the month awards was Kofi. We didn't get any red cards this season, which was pretty good. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about, really. So, I'll leave that for that. This will be a, a bit of a short episode. If I do happen to 
get the season review. I will record that for next episode. So, yeah. So, anyway, thank you as always for following me. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, and have a nice day. All the best. Bye.